Hello everyone and welcome to our new video and today I am going to talk about the Google Workspace Labs feature wherein you can use AI tool right into your Gmail, your Google documents, your Google slides, your Google uh, uh, Excel sheets basically, Excel worksheets which is there right from the place we are using it. You don't need to go to BART to use it but for that you need to sign up uh, for uh, workspace labs so how to use it also I'm going to show you and you can see the screen right now that success you are in you now have access to works workspace labs so I'm going to show you how uh, you can use that where to find this feature but before that I would request you to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not done yet and please do not forget to press the bell icon Besides that, you're going to find a few links. Make sure you join the Telegram group because that's the place where you're going to find, you're going to find most of the updates. So on this note, let's move it. So this particular link I'm going to be putting up in the description in, can, in case you intend to sign up. So once uh, uh, you sign up, probably you would be landing to this uh, space, uh, which is get started with Google Workspace Labs. So uh, you need to know that uh, Google Labs is currently available to trusted testers, uh, testers in US English and may not be available in your country. To check if you have access in workspace lab features, open a document and look for help me write labs. So this is what you're going to be looking across. I'm going to show you in the document to start off. And now, uh, what are the things you can do with Google Labs uh, AI basically? So you can see uh, here is a quick uh, run through what you can do. You can uh, quickly write or uh, refine your emails in Gmail. Use writing in AI Google Docs. Create images in AI slides. Organize with uh, AI Google Sheets. Enhance Smart Field with Google Sheets. Create background with Google Meet. And look for your studio look in Google Meet. So from this, I would be eliminating the Google uh, Gmail part of it because uh, to show you that I would be taking you to need to take you to my Gmail, uh, which contains uh, some confidential info. So I'm not. So I've opened a blank folder into Google Drive and I'm going to show you how you can use. Uh, you can see I've already signed up for this. So how you can use it? I would go to a new. Let's ex uh, explore this first Google Docs blank document so once you open the document you see over here you will see this particular editor and help me write so this is uh, if you can see this that means your uh, ai tool is uh, working over here so if you click directly over here you can see on the left hand corner over here if you click this again your uh, ai tools would be active now this is just as you would do in Google Bard. You don't need to go to Bard. You just come over here. Now let us try a few things. If you see, help me write, create an invoice template, uh, interview, thank you letter, recommendation letter for my teammate, uh, applying for poor tracker for applying jobs. So let's uh, try this out first. Uh, write a application for a job for the post of a clerk create so you can see over here that in the meanwhile it's going to create a thing like let's uh, while it's creating we go to a new google sheet blank spreadsheet i will also open this is to save on time new google sites uh, blank presentation so let that it's i think it's already done but in the end while i'm going to create some prompt over here you can see help me organize here are the prompts what you can see uh, you can create your own i would say you know i want uh, hmm. create a budget for a family of for for a trip to switzerland create it's going to be working on in the meanwhile we'll go to a bank presentation you can see help me visualize over here 
uh, okay I want uh, I want a corporate environment Month of people working in a conference room. Now you can always add a style over here, photography, background, vector. I'll choose photography over here and create. So let's go back to the doc first over here. So you can see write an application for a job for a post of a clerk. So you can see dear hiring manager i am writing to express my interest in the clerk position in the company's name so basically you need to just replace it uh, with your name and the company's name i have been working as a clerk for the last five years please uh, if at all someone is using this prompt make sure you don't uh, miss to edit these changes and have developed strong skills and customer service data blah 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 in previous uh, this thing uh, wherein you are expressing your uh, roles over here and uh, finally sincerely your name etc so you can see you can always read these suggestions over here it's a good suggestion or you can this thing so that the ai it improves then you can now uh, this is for creating writing not intended to be factual so this is a disclaimer so refining over here you can always change the tone let's make the tone casual obviously it's not going to be for a um, job application but i'm just playing around with the data over here to show you the outcome hey you can see instead of sir and all it will go hey i'm writing to express my interest so it's been very casual approach uh summarize over here bulletize if you want to bulletize over here you can bulletize the content over here so bulletize wouldn't uh, suit over here but uh so here it's bulletize over here so this is how you can use i'm going to discard it and you see over here this is your prompt uh okay so write me a recipe of uh, chicken biryani with clearly mentioning the ingredients in a bullet form and the recipe in step by step form okay so let's go and check this out so here you see uh, this is the ingredients in a bullet form one kg chicken blah 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 and uh, you can see all the ingredients over here instructions marinate the chicken heat the oil this that's this so you can see your recipe is ready over here so this is how you can use this particular feature of ai within the google docs now it's just up to your imagination how you want to see it whether you don't need to go separately to bard you can work your way out straight over here coming now to the spreadsheet uh, you can see we had asked for a budget organizers here so let's uh, click over here so preview insert i'll say insert okay so you can see over here like uh, it has categorized transportation accommodation food activities so winners miscellaneous and all so transportation uh, this is done approximately this is just a template which has been created you can go ahead and edit it or change it to your liking over here so you can change over here miscellaneous you can see click over here and uh, you can add data variation rules over here too and uh, you can continue with other functions over here so we have seen the google docs we have seen uh, spreadsheets i am not going to be taking you to the email over here uh, for now i had managed to create an image let's try it out again photography uh, it was beautifully rendered okay i want a conference room in a corporate office let's try this so it had created some beautiful images indeed so i was trying uh, trying out before making the video so you see 
we have explored this document uh, spreadsheet you can use it again to your imagination whatever over here so for the spreadsheet here help me organize uh, it's going to be over here for your google spreadsheet in your email on the compose section you see here are your images so you can just use this particular images in your presentations over here so some cool images being generated over here so this is how you can use this particular images in your presentation and uh, go ahead with it so coming to the uh, email part of it as i mentioned it's going to be below your uh, compose and and where it is there where you do your attachments i'm not showing it for uh, privacy concerns so this way you can uh, do it for all the uh, you know uh, stuff whatever is there so this is not much frequently used so i'm not going to be there but before i uh, wind off the video important heads up which i want to show you and that is what i'm also going to be doing you so if you come back to this particular thing before you use workspace labs so please pay attention over here so it's like disclaimers but it is of more serious workspace labs features suggestion doesn't represent google's views and should not be attributed to google that's perfectly fine don't rely on workspace labs features as medical legal financial or professional advice again fair enough workspace labs may suggest uh, inaccurate or inappropriate information we understand that uh, since we have started using the chatbots uh, don't include personal confidential or sensitive information now this is one of a key thing which you should remember if you are trying out this particular thing but we all know that our emails uh, do con say contain sensitive informations uh, your banking uh, bank statement some OTPs so these are indeed sensitive information so as such using uh, Google Labs with your primary email uh, which you use might be a bit dicey and I'm going to uh, uh, explain you further why so you can see Google uh, uses workspace labs data and metrics to provide improve and develop products services and machine learnings across google when you interact with workspace lab features google collects your workspace labs data including your prompts and input prompt requirements etc and uh, the most important thing is over here to develop to help develop workspace lab features human reviewers may read annotate and process your workspace labs interactions data so besides data being collected there are uh, human reviewers who are going to be reading it. I'm not saying they may be reading your emails or they may be using your um, uh, content which is there, but uh, you don't know uh, with uh, uh, things like this, uh, privacy uh, is there. We do understand that once you're online, uh, privacy is a joke, but yes, we still have feel secure when you're logging into your Gmail or your documents that you need a password or someone to access it. Here you are giving access to third party to accept, if not your uh, content, your actions. Of course, Google collects it uh, through other means via mobile or not. But here explicitly it's being mentioned that humans may be reviewing your data. And this is a big concern for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to opt out. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to opt out from this particular uh, feature. I don't want to use Google Labs on my primary mail. Maybe you know, for experimental purpose, I may use in my secondary or some other mail, but not on my primary mail. So what you need to do, if you do intend to opt out from this, you need to remember that if you try to opt out, uh, another thing over here, if you try to opt, opt out, uh, you can see here and you won't be able to rejoin. Okay, here, to turn off any features of Google Labs, you must exit Workspace Labs. If you exit, you will permanently lose access to all workspace lab features so you need to remember that and you won't be able to rejoin workspace labs Le uh, learn more about turning off enhanced smart field without exiting so but i do have serious concerns so as such i'm going ahead and opting out and i may probably join it with some other email which i don't use or i use google account which i don't use for that you need to come to tools and uh, out opt out of labs and uh, opt out for this particular feature so uh, do let me know your feedback 
on this particular video uh, do you feel my concerns to be correct as far as the privacy concerns are there or you feel uh, you know just like we don't have privacy for rest of the things it uh, it's absolutely fine but i do have concerns especially with my uh, access to my gmail so if you like this particular video do give a thumbs up do share it across and do subscribe to my youtube channel for more such interesting video until the next video take care and be safe